Mark V Cortina. I bet everybody's had one of these, and I've had one too. In fact, I've had two. Well, it might be one, but it's definitely at least one. This one was a black Mark V Cortina that I bought off a mechanic, and it was on the V5, I think, a 1.6, but it actually had a two litre. A two litre with different cams. Different cams that made it rev all the way up to 7,000 RPM. It was pretty nippy, actually. And it was just a bit on the leery side. I almost, you know, there's rear wheel drive and you, if you do kind of push it a bit on the roundabouts and the wet or the snow, it's going to slip out. And this one did an awful lot, but not so much that I crashed it because I didn't. In fact, I don't really think I had this car long enough to actually get around to crashing it. Seems like the standard thing to do was to crash your Ford Cortina or Ford Capri or whatever Ford it was that you happened to have. But on this one, I let down the side by not crashing it. And that's partly down to the fact that I didn't really have it very long. One of the reasons I didn't have it for very long, in case you're interested, and I'm sure you are, is because I struggled to get it started most of the time. It was simply just a matter of not having a particularly good battery. But... I didn't really have a great deal of choice at the time. I just had to bump start it. And I lived on a hill, which was quite useful. But this car had a particularly low compression or something. And so when you bumped it, it didn't necessarily want to go. Once it was going, it was great. It was quick. It was uh, a Cortina. Um, but many, many occasions, even though I lived on a hill, I couldn't get it bumped. So, for one reason or another, I'm not sure which one it was, I eventually got rid of this car. And how I got rid of it, I really don't remember. But I did do. I do not remember who I sold it to, why I sold it, how much I got for it, any of these details. I actually might have sold it back to the guy I bought it off. I probably did, actually.